एवरीवन होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर फाइन एंड सेफ टू दिस इज लोपा मुद्रा देव वंस अगेन विद अनदर वीडियो एज यूजली टुडे आल्सो आई विल स्टार्ट विद अ मोटिवेशनल कोट एंड टुडेज कोटेशन वाज गिवन बाय आवर फॉर्मर प्रेसिडेंट एपीजे अब्दुल कलाम ही कोटेड man needs his difficulties because they are necessary to enjoy success according to this quotation success and difficulties are important phases of life difficulties are as necessary and important as the success because until and unless we face the vagaries of darkness we can never enjoy the success of brightness so we should not get scared of difficulties we should overcome the difficulties with great courage then only our success will be enjoyable so please uh, try to overcome the difficulties of your life with great courage and achieve the goals and success that you have dreamed of so let's proceed and come to the point in the previous uh, video i discussed about the meaning of environment the concept and some definitions also i discussed on environment given by different environmentalists in this video i am going to explain one of the most important topics that is structure of environment here in this video you will understand the different components of environment how these components are categorized on what character on the basis of what characteristics those categorizations are done and how the uh, different components of environment interact with each other to uh make the uh, uh environment uh, sustain and to maintain the equilibrium or balance in the environment so let's proceed know about the structure of environment so how the uh, here in the structure we will mainly discuss about how the environment influence environment and its components influence each other okay so let's first know about the different types of components what are the different components of environment like as i said you that uh biotic means something related to life that means whatever things that are living jo bhi uh, jaivik cheeze hai jo wherever there is life all those things are called as biotic components or more uh, that is scientifically or you can say whenever we talk about uh, normally biotic and abiotic we discussed when we discuss about ecosystem so here you can use the term physical components and biological components whenever we will discuss about something non living at time we will use the term bio physical component and whenever something is discussed about uh, uh, bio living things that time we can use the term biological components now let's see that how uh, different uh, components of the environment are uh, orderly placed and how they have equal influence on each other okay now first talk about the physical or abiotic that means all the non living things okay all the non living things now uh, before that while discussing about uh, the meaning of uh, environment 
uh, I forgot to tell you something about uh, though it was men, uh, it was uh, discussed but not very clearly mentioned. Like whenever we talk about environment, we talk about the physical things. Like we talk about the plants, the animals, the uh, uh, what to say, the non-living things like air, water, whatever that are that we have seen in the picture. So along with that, the environment can also be uh, of two other kinds. Like physical, whenever we talk about physical environment, that means we will talk about the all the uh, that is like geographical climate, the physical condition, the weather, the plants, animals, everything that are there in our surrounding. Uh, normally, whenever we talk about uh, physical environment, we mainly talk about the non-living things. We do not include the uh, living things there. Okay. So, and then social environment is also there. Social environment. We all know that men are social beings. Here, whatever discussion are going on, that all the discussions are uh, by keeping the man at the center so that it will be easy for you to understand. So whenever we talk about social environment, as we all know that uh, human beings are social creature. We cannot live in isolation because we depend on each other. Okay. So whenever we talk about social environment, that time we are talking about the social, cultural, economical, political conditions of the particular place in which we are living in at a particular uh, span of time or we can, you, we can simply say time. Okay. So, kisi bhi uh, environment ka जो भी कल्चर होता है किसी इकोनॉमिक कंडीशन होता है पॉलिटिकल कंडीशन होता है ऑल दिस थिंग्स हैज इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन द इंडिविजुअल एंड इंडिविजुअल आल्सो हैज इक्वल इन्फ्लुएंस ऑन इट बिकॉज़ अल्टीमेटली जो है मैन इज मेकिंग ऑल द थिंग्स सो दिस विल बी द सोशल एनवायरनमेंट एंड व्हेनेवर वी टॉक अबाउट सोशल एनवायरनमेंट we can simply call it as society, okay? And society can again be of two types, closed society and then open society. Open society. In, in case of closed society, it's not very conductive to development. They are uh, closed societies are little bit conservative. They keep all the things confined within themselves. They do not welcome the, uh, what to say, the uh, changes. They do not, uh, 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 they don't want to adapt with the changes. Okay. They need to be uh, very confined and conserve whatever they already have. They are not very conductive. That's why you cannot expect the, uh, what to say, uh, uh, proper development in such kind of society because they are very conservative and open society means it always welcome the individual potentialities, whatever changes are taking place, everything, they are open for everything. Okay, so such kind of environment are very, very adaptable. With the change in time, the individual of such kind of society are, uh, what to say, uh, adapted with the change, okay? Then there is psychological environment. While discussing the meaning of environment, we are repeatedly telling that something has influence on us and something uh, on which we also have equal influence. So whenever we talk about psychological environment, 
we are talking about the mental state of the particular individual we talk about the personality we talk about the uh, uh, what to say adjustment ability how the individual face the uh, what to say vagaries of life how individual overcome the barriers whether the individual get frustrated when he or she is not able to overcome the barriers or take the barriers positively so that they can find some other ways to reach the goal so such kind of things are uh, comes under the psychological environment which talk about the life space which is very very essential our psychology our mental state always has influence on us and our potentialities and abilities also has direct influence on our psychological uh, uh, nature okay so that is why not only we are talking about the environment climate then other surroundings of our environment but also society and psychological social and psychological in, uh, environments are also equally important for an individual to uh what to so uh, what to say to survive and to know an individual in a better way okay now get back to the structure again so when we are talking about physical environment we are mainly talking about the uh no abiotic components that is the non living things okay non living things those who do not have life non living non living now uh, non living things mainly divided into three categories the land air and water the land very scientifically the land is called as the lithosphere lithosphere then air i think all of you know about that it is atmosphere and water is the hydrosphere these are the scientific terms used for this particular components of environment so when we talk about lithosphere that means we talk about the solid earth the land area of the earth and when we are talking uh, talking about uh, atmosphere that means we are talking about the air or the gaseous substances uh, which surrounds us and when we are talking about the hydrosphere we are talking about the water components that means the water bodies from where we get water all those things will come under this particular category okay so all these things are very very uh, important for us and they have equal influence on us they have they influence us and we do influence them both of us we impact each other suppose the land condition the area the land portion in uh, the suppose the fertility of the soil the uh, what to say everything the people that that those who are living in a particular uh, area where land soil is very very fertile so most of the people will uh, what to say the most of the people will take the career uh, of farmer because that that will be beneficial and that will be suitable okay so that's how what happen if continuously uh, the land areas will be utilized for cropping then ultimately without proper care if proper care is maintained then it will 
keep on uh, causing our growth and development if proper care is not taken then what will happen the fertility of the soil will decrease and it will uh, cause damage and harm because no more cropping will be possible and the people those who reside there and mainly occupation is of farmer they will be adversely affected so same way air also like the way if, if more and more trees are planted then trees uh, makes the air fresh by cleaning the air by uh, absorbing carbon dioxide from the air and releasing oxygen and then uh, if we continuously destruct trees what will happen ultimately the air quality will degrade so same thing happens in case of uh, water also okay so that's how it, 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 it these all are the components of environment because they have influence on us and we also influence them and this all comes under the category of physical environment and then then geology climatology the particular uh, uh, climatic condition like whenever i talk about agriculture and clop uh, cropping then all these things will come under only fertility of soil will not uh, uh, lead good cropping of a particular place the geographical area the climatic condition the soil chemistry everything will uh, contribute to the ultimate uh, what to say ultimate uh, 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 character of that particular environment okay only the fertile soil will not lead the uh, people to take the occupation of farmer or the along with that proper raining proper chemistry of the soil soil chemistry means the uh, nutrient content of the soil the acidity the basics basic character of the soil everything will come under so along with physic uh, that is this land air and water other physical components will also be regarded as our environment that is geology climatology agriculture uh, and agriculture chemistry or you can say the soil chemistry that ultimately has influence on agricultural practice okay so you uh, see uh, there are desert there are climatic condition geology of deserts are completely different from that of the maritime environment and this the people those who live in the desert their lifestyle are completely different from the people those who are living in the what to say maritime environment so that's how influence uh, are there depending on that physical components of environment also now <coughs> uh, let's talk about the biological environment and then again at the end we will discuss about the relationship so from this structure you can uh, explain two things one is structure of the environment and another is relationship the, of the environment how different structural components of the environment are related to each other how they influence each other okay now let's uh, talk about the biological or the living components so here uh, main living things that are there in our surrounding are plants and animals and as i said that men are kept in the center of all the discussion that's why man and his function will also come though be, uh, more scientifically we human beings also belong to the category of animals okay we uh, fall under uh, mammals like uh, your uh, uh, that is tigers then um, uh, monkeys chimpanzees they we all belong to the same category but because we are very social and we are de uh, developed creatures 
and here we have kept man at the center of the study that's why man is placed in a separate category okay so whenever we are talking about plants uh, we are talking about floral environment that means whatever huge kinds of plants are there there are pteridophytes there are uh, herbs there are shrubs there are big big trees algae these all are uh, fall under the plant kingdom so all will come in this particular uh, section and uh, the man will influence on the vegetation of a particular place in which he or she is residing at a particular uh, times okay then is geology that here we are talking about the faunal environment that means all the animals right from the microorganisms to the huge uh, elephant you can say all ca come under this particular all the animals that means those who uh, do not make their own food those who are either carnivores or uh, omnivores so all will fall under those who are not producers they are only consumers they only consume food and the members of this uh, particular category they all are the producers so geology uh, talks about the faunal uh, environment where the members depend on plants for food and energy okay and uh, that means whenever we are talking about men because here we have placed it little separately that means here we will discuss about the different uh, what to say sides of man and its function we talk about the humanities like uh, you know about uh, sociology in education economics politics how all these things have influence on us suppose if we are talking uh about uh that is your physical man okay if we are talking about physical man then we are talking about uh that is the biological co community that is required uh, for an for a man to survive that time we are talking about the uh, that is the uh, physical uh, components like uh, land air water that is required for man survival the we will talk about the uh, uh, the uh, other living creatures that interacts or that benefits human beings so all these things will come under that and when we are talking about social environment like human beings they uh, construct uh, you can say they establishes various social structures like schools hospitals uh, then police stations banks all these things are very much required for a man to lead as social being okay which is very very requ required at the same time man needs to formulate laws principles uh, for his or her own safeguard for uh, uh, that is what to say for uh, uh, secure survival for for uh, to safeguard uh, his ex existence so that time the man will be called as the social man and then man can also be categorized as economic man when the man will be called as economic when a uh, man will take uh, what to say uh, man will take advantage or benefits man will derive benefits by utilizing the resources from the physical and biotic environment as human beings are very advanced they are superior they uh, know technology they can use technology they are very skilled creatures 
so they can easily utilize the natural resources both biotic and abiotic resources to earn money to uh, get economically benefited in that case uh, the man will be called as economic man and while discussing about economic man one thing must have to kept in mind that the man in normal condition should limit uh, the utilization or uh, extraction of the uh, benefits from the natural resources he, he should not exceed the limit when there will be exceed in limit there will be disequilibrium that means when the uh, man will start exploiting the natural resources then we cannot expect growth and development of humanity in such case over exploitation will cause our damage and destruction or degradation okay it will be it will have detrimental effect on the total human community so that's how uh, yeah, that is and whatever social economical political uh, conditions that are uh, what to say that are established by the human being that also depend on the uh, what to say that also depend on the um, uh, biotic uh, abiotic components also because you can see the uh, political laws principles that are different in different countries the educational system the structure of education that are very very different the social institutions are also different from uh, different countries so that all depends on the climatic condition geographical condition of a particular country so all these things are all the all the components of the environment are very very closely related to each other one cannot be kept uh, isolated from another component so if we need to understand environment in totality as whole as a whole in that case all the components of the environment whether it is physical or biological it needs to be given equal importance normally what happen whenever we talk about environment mostly the comes in our uh, thing comes in our mind the vegetation and all mainly the vegetation we don't talk about the other animals we don't talk about the environmental condition we don't talk about the psychological or social uh, condition of a particular uh, area so in that case or, or a person so in that case we can say that we won't be uh, telling or we we won't be considering environment as a whole so if we need to know environment as a whole we must know the structure of environment we must know the components of the, the of the various uh, various components of the environment and how they are related and how uh, important the proper equilibrium maintaining maintenance of equilibrium of different components for uh, proper functioning of the environment okay so uh, i hope uh, actually i tried to make uh, the things uh, explain clearly hope uh, you have understood it um, in case any loopholes please do let me know uh, by commenting on the comment box um, so i'll wind up here because the video has become long uh, i will come up with new videos by the time uh, <coughs> you please do share and like the video those who have not subscribed yet please do subscribe the channel and to get uh, uh, that is regular notification don't forget to hit the bell icon Bye and stay tuned and stay safe too.